Okay, how we doing out there, people? We've got a beautiful day out here in upstate New York. Take a look at the big blue sky. I don't know what's got to be, if I have to estimate, maybe 65 degrees out, 60 to 65. But then again, I do have fleece on, so it throws the temperature a little bit. Uh, what I've done is brought you out here today because between last night, okay, and today, this morning, we have arrived at a situation that says the 86 Dodge Ram door is fully, uh, the driver's side is fully completed. We just need to put it in primer, okay? Let's take a look. Take a look at the situation we have here, people. I'm hoping you can see this. Take a look at the door. Look how flat. I know you can't see it like I can see it, but I'm just going to run my hand across here and show you how smooth and i couldn't have done it okay people i could not have got it this nice without the black diamond without the black diamond blocks you're just not going to get this level of quality it's it's kind of like in my uh let me put it in my vernacular if you were going out to dinner and you went and bought you a nice steak dinner and the waiter or the waitress came out and said uh sir ma'am we can give you a cluster of one pound cluster of crab legs for another $9.99. You would definitely get it. And that's where you're at with the black diamond. You're in a situation that says, we are going to do this not only flat, but we're going to do it with such a spirit of excellence that when this is done, you're going to be able to stand back and say, I'm proud of it, people. That's what you're going to be able to say, that you're very proud of it. And the scenario being that we've got this that nice with these black diamonds, I would have to say at this point that $200 is literally a drop in the bucket when it comes to having your door this beautiful. Now, I could have bought an aftermarket door. They do have them for around $296. But let's remember, people, it's aftermarket. You're not going to get the same quality that you would get with an OEM door, especially a California Survivor. Something that has zero rust in it. It just has a few New Jersey dings that we needed to work out, if you know what I mean. But let's take another look at it. I want you to see how beautiful it is. I'm going to try to get you low. Look how nice. The feathers. See this here when you feather it in? And you just have to put layer and layer and layer. These are just a light skim coat of uh, Bondo. And let me tell you something. I didn't use the Bondo brand. What I used was Dynalite, people. If you know anything about Dynalite, you know what I'm talking about. Look at the beautiful, I mean, you can tell with just, you can look at a door, but then you can feel a door, if you know what I mean. And you run your hand down that. Man, I pray and I hope nobody door dings me. I'm going to have to turn around and, and put some uh, something on that like, uh, like the uh, Toyota has. Like the uh, little side step so that when they open the door, they hit them instead of my my Dodge. Because uh, it's not that we can't fix it, people. We can fix it. It's just a scenario that says, hey, we're trying to get it right, and we're trying to get it right nice. Now, take a look up here. This is where the mirrors were. Okay, let me scoot through here. This is where the mirror lugs were. We're, were. Of course, we're not going to go with those. They had a couple holes here and a hole here for the mirror. But what we're going to do is drill our own holes and put zerts in there. That way we can go with the West Coast mirrors. And when you see those West Coast mirrors, you're going to see why I went with those. They're just a lot nicer to see out of. They're a lot nicer. I mean, look at even this channel right here. You get right down in this channel. And you can feel how smooth that transition is. It goes like from nothing all the way up through to a nice little trough. And you can just feel it down through there like that. It's really, really beautiful. But uh, we've got the door in good shape. We're really excited that these black diamonds have provided such a beautiful flat surface and a flexibility that says, hey, we got this door just the way we want it. I'll give you an update, and I wanted to let you know we got a workbench full of tools because you need them, people. If you're a DIYer, you're going to need them. If you're going to do an 86 Dodge Ram door, you better believe you're going to need them. But uh, don't forget, now you know me, I'm not a COVID person. I don't believe in it. I think it's a hoax. However, she, this kind of dust is not a hoax. 
So this is why you would wear a respirator like this with an air uh, particulate filter that actually has a finer particulate than the mask that they give you to wear for COVID. So, but you don't want that in your lungs, people, and you don't want sanding debris in your lungs, so make sure you wear one of these for that. I mean, that's a proven situation. Um, the other thing is, shout out to Harbor Freight. We went and got the four pack of magnets, okay? We got those the other day. Um, the other thing is that I've got from them was a three pack of these little scissors. $4.99 for a three pack of scissors. And let me tell you something. Let me get them all up here, all together. These are very sharp. They cut cardboard. They cut all kinds of things. Four out, and the handles are very, they're not that rigid plastic. They're that nice uh, ergonomical rubber. So we got that. Uh, remember, but I told you that the black diamond is the way to go, but listen, black diamond, as far as I know, doesn't make a round block. So you are going to need Mr. Durablock to get in them little contours. Let me see if I can get that right. And then you're going to lay that in there and you're going to be able to get the contours. That's how I got everything so flat. Uh, what else can I tell you? Make sure you put some honey in your Bondo, people. And I don't mean honey like bee honey. They call this plastic honey. And this makes it flow out super smooth if you know what i mean but uh that's the plastic honey you're gonna want that you just add a little dabble do you they got the uh make sure when you have your hardener too that you mix it up real good don't just put it out at the end you'll get that liquid and you may not get a good bond here's another tech tip i want to show you let me show you this you take a piece of, uh, of 180 here right and if you have a nice steel bench like me you clean it off and you can put it on there and listen, when you're done, every now and again, sharpen up your uh, sharpen up your bondo spreader, people. Okay, make sure that they're. Let me see if I can get it in a the light. There we go. Make sure that they're really nice. Uh, so go ahead, and you'll have this. You can put this on the wall. You can put it on your table. But that's what you want to use. Now look at that's what I use from Dynatron. Okay. They don't make that really anymore. Um, 3M purchased them and then they made their own, uh, how do I put it? They made their own uh, formula, let's say to speak. They make their own formula and they changed the actual old formula. So from now on, I'll be going with a different brand because 3M wants to charge you three times the amount. That's what 3M stands for, three times the amount. Um, I don't not knock 3M. I'm just saying at the end of the day, there's other stuff out there. Okay, and I'm going to say this, that Durablocks do have a purpose for knocking down the high spots real quick. But when you want to get to that ultra fine, how do I put perfection, you're going to want to go with the black diamond, people. How many times do I have to tell you that? But uh, let's take one last look at her and let you, the DIYer, decide for yourself if you think the door is in good shape or if I need to keep sanding it. Let me know in the comments, please. Take a look at her. I know it looks like a Palomino right now, but that's just to get the little imperfections out. Now the other door won't have to have all this extensive uh, surgery, so to speak, because it's just gonna be a scuff. There's a few little war wound dings, that's it, but at the end of the day, this one here had a little bit of, uh, it had a big cave in it, people, and what it did is it, cr it cranked the metal. I had to do a lot of body work to get the metal flat again. But at the end of the day, we're in good shape. We're liking it. And there goes that damn code officer. He can keep on riding too. But uh, that's the situation with the door, people. I hope you enjoyed this uh, process on the 86 Dodge Ram door. I hope you enjoyed the fact how we got everything out and looking really nice in the sunshine. And if you have a project I want you to get out there. Now, look how smooth this is, too. I want to show you. This was all wrinkled up and dented. And I pulled most of the dents out, but I put a thin skim coat on there. And let me tell you something. You'd be hard-pressed to find any damage on this door now. And in all rights and purposes, most people would have just got an aftermarket door. But, you know, I have a, a metal block in my head that says, if you can keep the original metal, you're always better off. This is Bry. I got to get on down the road.